up guys welcome back to the channel i apologize for my voice sounding the way it does i feel like crap um i've had like a headache and uh, been feeling nauseous and uh, throat hurting like crazy and i don't know what the hell i got so i'm actually on my way to the uh, doctors right now um i don't have the kids with me or janelle because they're all at home and uh, i didn't want to drag them to the doctor's office because they're already actually sick we took Preston to the doctors on Saturday, and um, he uh, they did a strep test, and come to find out, he actually has strep. So um, he's on antibiotics for that for the past two, three days. And Elliot's got this nasty cough that he's had for a while, and now I'm finally sick. Um, like I said, I don't know what the hell it is. If you guys want to follow and see what I got, then stay tuned. It's only 20 degrees out here today. Yeah. Just so you guys can see, this is the weather that I'm driving in to get to the doctors. Fun, fun, right? Yeah, there's cars all over the road and everything. But let's hope we make it there. Make it there one piece without anything happening. Thought that bus was going to pull in front of me. Oh. Tires that I'm driving with on my truck. And to be honest with you, like, they don't have much traction whatsoever. But anyway, they're the 285, 65, 20 um, Ridge Grapplers. I guess it's a hybrid tire, but anyway, these are the tires I'm running. By the way, that's my truck. Yay, so pretty, pretty, pretty. So I'm headed in, guys. Wish me luck. I'm in the room now. Check it out. I'm here. We'll see what happens. Maybe they'll stick the thing up my nose or whatever. And I'll show you guys. Oh, it's be nasty. But anyway, we'll see how long I wait here. She should give me a cool mask. I hope it's not flu. I really hope not. I hope it's just some nasty, like, virus or something. Because if it's flu, it's gonna suck because uh, my kids are already sick, so I don't want them to get this because it sucks. I feel like crap. But anyway, I figured I'd show you guys my cool mask. Woo so, wish me luck. All right. Hi there. Hello. Are you Christopher? I'm Christopher. Hey, Christopher. Hey, she's one of our scribes. Yeah. So, um, tell me what symptoms you have. So, um, I feel like, uh, like earlier, I felt lightheaded. Um, my uh, stomach hurts like all in this area. Um, like tired, my throat actually hurts when I cough, mild headache. Any fever? Mild, I mean maybe like uh -huh. 101, 102. So you had a fever of 101 or 102? Uh, not, 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 not higher than that, no, so I think 101 yesterday when I took okay. it. Okay, right. Now you've got flu until proven otherwise is my diagnosis. Really? <laughs> that sucks. Because my kids are already sick, that's like all I'm worried about. Your kids are sick with... Well, my son, my oldest son has uh, strep actually, is okay. what he has, so... Alright, well, let me take a look at you. Do you have any medical problems? Take any medications for no, any reason? No, I don't take any. <laughs> yeah. What have you taken for your symptoms? Uh, nothing really. No, no, just cold, water. Cold, Motrin, Tylenol, nothing. No, honey. Last night, and that was it. And tea. I haven't taken. What did you take last night? Honey and tea. Oh, honey and tea. Okay. Yeah. I think it said only last night. Okay. Uh, so you took nothing for the fever? No, I didn't take anything. And your throat only hurts when you cough. When I cough, yeah. Okay, now. Really now. is when it hurts. Not so like right now, now it just feels like irritated because okay. I'm coughing. You can sit up. I, th I mean, I really think. Like, like, really. Symptoms are classic. Oh. Flu symptoms. They hope not. Um, I don't have any food labs to offer you right now. Really? I could do one to send out to the lab, but it'll be another probably tomorrow before we have an answer. So that's totally up to you. And then the only thing I have to do is just give you a can of flu to try and shorten the course of it. Okay. It's totally up to you. It doesn't fix it, but it shortens the course of it. I mean, my throat doesn't look bad. I'm only saying that because my son. Your throat looks fine, but we'll okay. just swab your throat and see. I don't have microbiology eyes. So. Yeah, <laughs> so I got you. Yeah. This is exactly how he felt too, you know, it was like... Yeah, Did he have a throat culture? Yeah, he had a throat culture and they diagnosed him with a uh, uh, strep throat. Let's so. see. Okay. Chin up so I can see in there better and just say the ah. Uh, don't move, don't move. Uh, okay. <laughs> you curl it away from me like that. Yeah. Ugh. 
Yeah, no, I hope it's not the other thing. I've never had it, actually. So. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. <coughs> 20 minutes later. <coughs> Struck culture's negative. Shoot. You've got flu. Um, well, that's proven otherwise. So I said Tamiflu to the pharmacy for you, okay? Okay. You can take that or not take it. Flu's going to run a course of... How long seven, is it going to last for? It's going to run a course of seven to ten days. Okay. Um, the worst part of it's going to be the first four or five days. Really? So you're going to be a couple of Yeah, because I feel run down. Like, just, yep. ugh. Yep. And then it'll get better progressively. It'll start to get better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. You feel better. Take I care. Hope. I hope. 15 minutes later. Ready? Sounds good, thanks. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> oh, I didn't like that. What? <coughs> Ugh. So, I'm in a different room, as you guys see. Uh, reason is, is the place I went to said that I had the flu. They did a strep test, came back negative. Then they said, you have the flu and diagnosed me without actually um, swabbing me like the doctor just did. Um, so I came down the road and uh, went elsewhere and got tested the proper way before I'm just going on Tamiflu and feeling even more nauseous because I guess that stuff makes you really like nauseous, even worse than I already feel. Um, so I'm hoping I just have a virus, but we'll find out in a few minutes here. Keep you posted. Same thing. Do it times. Yep. Second time. Go. Oh, that was further back. Ooh. Woo. All right, guys. So I'm back from the doctor's office. Um, I went to one uh, physician's office. They did the throat culture, but they didn't do the nose swab. And the lady said that by my symptoms that I presented that I had the flu. Now I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense because you didn't even swab me. But anyway, long story short, she said I had the flu. She sent Tamiflu to um, my prescription place. I went and I picked it up. Um, and then I called my kid's pediatrician because I figured I could start them on Tamiflu if I indeed did have it. Uh, their pediatrician told me that they would not send over a script unless uh, I was a positive for sure. So I ended up going to a different doctor's office and they actually did the nose uh, culture, the flu culture in, in each nostril, and they did it twice. One was to test me, and the other one was to send out <clears throat> to get back results for tomorrow. So the first initial one that they did, it came back negative, believe it or not, which I'm actually excited about that. Um, and then the other one, they're gonna send it out and I'll know something by tomorrow. And they said that I could have some sort of upper respiratory infection that's just really nasty and got me down with a fever and um, cough and lost voice and chest congestion, pain and all this. I guess the whole thing of this is that I do not have the flu and I have some other nasty virus, um, which I guess is better than the flu. I don't want the flu because I was worried about the kids getting it and I don't want them to get it. But if like the doctor just tells you, hey, yeah, you got the flu because of your symptoms, screw that. You go somewhere else and get a second opinion. She clearly wrongfully diagnosed me and that was horrible. Um, I could have been on Tamiflu and been even more nauseous than I already am and then had my kids on Tamiflu because she thought I had the flu without actually swabbing me. That's ridiculous. So if you guys ever have something like that happen, Go somewhere else. Be like, okay, I'll take it, you know, whatever, because you're already there and you already paid for it. But go somewhere else and get tested um, for sure because you don't want to get a wrongful diagnosis. Anyway, thanks for joining me for my doctor's visit, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.